Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on how to complete a table of values for a graph on a Casio FX 83 GTX or 85 GTX. We have an example here of a typical question where we need to complete the table of values in this case for y equals x squared minus 3. We have a table there which has been partially filled in. We have to fill in the rest of the details and then draw the graph of that same function. Let's produce the table in the calculator. Press menu and then select three for table. This may be a different option on different models of calculator. Here we have fx, which is our function of x, which represents the y here. So all we need to input is x squared minus three in this case. To get an x on the fx83 or 85 GTX, press alpha and then right bracket, and that gives us an x, squared, and then minus three. By default, it will come up with an option for a second function, gx. We don't have that in this case, so just press equals here to go to the start, end, and step. The start is the lowest value in our table for x, that is negative three and the end is the highest value that we have for x, which is positive three. And the step is how much it is increasing each time. Well, we've just got integer values, so the step is one. Negative three to negative two to negative one, zero, one, two, three, and so on. Press equals to confirm. And here we have our table of values. The orientation is different on the calculator. We've got that in columns as opposed to rows in the question but we can read and match some of the data there when x is negative 3 fx or y is 6 which we can fill in when it's negative 2 it's 1 which matches what we have in the table negative 1 we've got a value of negative 2 0 and negative 3 and so on so we can fill in the blanks in the table and corroborate what we've got on the calculator with the ones that are already filled in in the table. And from there, we've then got a table with coordinates that we can then plot. And from there, we need to draw the graph, which in this case is a quadratic graph with a nice smooth curve. To exit out of table mode, press menu and then one and you're back in calculate. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.